I just found the best niche to monetize your channel on autopilot, fast, with no face, no voice, and no editing needed. All by simply copying what others are already doing. I'm talking about a channel with 1.3 million subscribers, only 101 shorts, and over 282 million views in total. And it doesn't stop there. A similar channel, Fields, has pulled in over 423 million views doing the exact same thing. So instead of wasting time debating who copied whom, let's just copy them and create a brand new channel that prints views like they do. In this video, I'll reveal the exact easiest method to copy their strategy step by step. And the best part? You can do everything from your mobile, no laptop needed. Plus, as a bonus, I'll share some of my own secret hacks to help you go viral super fast. These are tips I've learned through tons of trial and error. So without any delay, let's get into it. Step 1. Ideation. If I just copy a YouTube channel exactly, same scripts, same delivery, same visuals, it's obvious my chances of success might not be that high. That's because the audience has already seen that kind of content. So instead of going the same old route, I want to add my own twist and build something that feels fresh, while still using a structure that already works. These days, you must have noticed a trend. Situational content, stuff that puts the viewer inside a real-life scenario, is performing way better than random facts. For example, a video that starts with, what would you do if if you were stuck between four strangers. Sparks instant curiosity. People connect emotionally because they imagine themselves in that situation. And when someone relates to your video, they're more likely to watch it all the way through. So here's the plan. We'll use those relaxing, satisfying videos in the background. And over that, we'll build situational scripts that hook people right from the first second. It's all about connecting with their psychology, making them feel like the story is about them. And when they feel that, they stick around till the end. That's how we'll get better retention and make our shorts go viral. Step two. Scripting. Now let's talk about scripting. The first thing we need to do is find channels or videos that already have strong hooks. Why? Because we're not here to reinvent the wheel. Like Steve Jobs once said, good artists copy, great artists steal. We're not going to blindly copy someone else's intro word for word, but we can take inspiration, give it a twist, and make it our own. Here's how. Go to any YouTube shorts video, and in the URL, replace the word shorts with videos. Now the video will load in regular format. Scroll down, click on transcript, and boom, you get the entire script. Just grab the hook from there. Then head over to ChatGPT. Yup, that's me. Paste the hook and say, give me 10 similar hooks for a viral shorts. Now you'll have a bunch of strong, tested hook options. Pick one or two that hit hard, and then ask me to write a full situational script based on that hook. Something with curiosity, relatability, and emotional connection. Within minutes, you've got your entire script done. Now let's talk about the length. YouTube Shorts allows up to 60 seconds, but in some countries, they're even testing three-minute shorts. So try both formats. But the core idea remains. The longer someone watches your video, the better it performs. So if you can make a 59 second video that feels like a story, you've won the retention game. Once your script is done, it's time for the voiceover. Step 3. Voiceover. The piece that can completely change how professional and engaging your video feels. Instead of recording my own voice, I use an AI tool called Eleven Labs. It's a game changer. Super realistic, clean, and honestly, it sounds like something out of a high-budget movie trailer. Here's how I do it. First, I head over to the Eleven Labs website and sign up. Good news, they give 10,000 free characters per email, which is more than enough to start creating voiceovers for multiple shorts. Next, I pick a voice that fits the vibe of my video. For this one, I'm going with an American male voice to give it a cinematic tone, but you can experiment based on your script's emotion. Then I simply paste in my script, tweak the voice settings a bit for clarity and pace, hit generate, and boom. Within seconds, I've got a studio quality voiceover ready to drop into my edit. It sounds clean, clear, and emotionally on point. No background noise, no mic issues, just pure pure pro-level narration that instantly boosts the vibe of the video. Now that the voiceover is done, we're just a few steps away from finishing this viral shorts machine. Now I will show you how to add a little more touch to retain viewers with simple editing. Step 4. Editing. You'll need a bunch of copyright-free, satisfying videos for the background. Here's how to get them. Go to YouTube, search Satisfying Videos, then click on Filters, and choose Creative Commons. These videos are safe to reuse. To double-check, open the video and scroll down to see if it says Reuse Allowed. Copy the link. Download it using any online tool and repeat the process for a few more clips. Now it's time to jump into CapCut. I personally use this because it's super easy. If it's banned in your country, just use a VPN. Inside CapCut, import your satisfying videos, your voiceover, and some sound effects you can grab from free SFX websites. Drag everything into the timeline. 
Now comes the real game changer. Add big, bold captions on the screen, not small, fancy ones. Just big, clean, readable text. These captions should change every second, almost like subtitles, but way more impactful. This keeps your video visually engaging and makes the viewer keep watching. Once all that's done, satisfying visuals, voiceover, sound effects, big captions, just export your video in high quality and preview it. Trust me, it'll look amazing. If a lion starts running at you, here's the secret you need to know. Imagine you're on a safari. The sun's setting. You're standing just outside your vehicle, taking photos. Suddenly, from the tall grass, a lion locks eyes with you. And then it starts sprinting toward you. Your heart stops. You freeze. But this next moment decides whether you live or die. From here, it's all about repeating this process. You've already got dozens of hooks using ChatGPT. Use them to build new scripts every day. Grab satisfying videos, slap on your voiceover and captions, and upload. Before uploading your shorts, don't forget to add channel-related and trending keywords. Just by doing this one small thing, your shorts can get up to 10 times more views. Now, you might be wondering, where do I find these keywords? For that, I use a tool called vidIQ. Simply log in to vidIQ using your email, and once you're in, you'll see an interface like this. Then, go to the Generate tab and type in a keyword related to your channel. For example, I'll type random facts and hit Generate. Now you'll see a bunch of keyword suggestions that are currently trending or highly searched. You can directly use these keywords in your shorts, either in the title, description, or tags. This will increase your shorts' visibility, and they'll start getting more views naturally. I recommend uploading at least two to three shorts per day. Do this consistently for 30 days, and I can tell you with 110% confidence, your channel will be monetized. This is hands down one of the fastest and smartest ways to grow on YouTube right now. And if you want to double your reach, don't forget to post the same shorts on Facebook Reels too. But here's the thing, ideas mean nothing without action. You've now got the blueprint, the tools, and the strategy. The only thing left is to start. Most people will keep scrolling, keep waiting, keep overthinking. But the ones who actually win, they're the ones who take messy action, learn as they go, and stay consistent. So start today, not tomorrow, not next week. Because one short video could change your entire game.